So hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dima Boa and today we're going to be reacting to a TikTok compilation I found on YouTube and it's called One and Done and this is about parents, moms, I don't know, but it is a conversation about having one kid and being done and just having, or being good but just having one kid and I thought this is quite interesting, especially because I've made a video about how men hate women that are child free and then I made another video about how a separate about parents be regretting having children and now i think that this will be a like a nice little addition to my collection of parents and kids uh one and done so we're gonna be right into it and see what they have to say okay can we normalize just wanting one kid because i don't want any more and people look at me like i'm literally crazy when i say this but i legitimately only want one kid like i'm one and done people are like you're still young like you have time to think about it you might change your mind like no i'm good i've done what i've done my son is three years old and i am exhausted this job being a mom is like no fucking joke it's not for the week like i'm good with one and mentally like i don't know if i could handle it again to be honest with you it's a lot to take on and i feel like stay-at-home moms and being a mom in general is just so slept on where people think it's so easy but you literally do not have a break until they go to bed like i'm sorry but i am one and done please stop fucking asking me if i want more because the answer is no hi i'm gonna be explaining to you why i will not be having any more children and before you say oh my god she needs a sibling shut your butt liquor no she doesn't i've seen gilmore girls i smell snow okay she's fine Reason number one, labor, mortifying. I will not be doing that again. I thought it was a good idea to eat Taco Bell breakfast right before I went to give birth. Um, was not. Uh, I got the epidural, lost all functions of the lower half of my body, so every time I was having to be repositioned by the five nurses that were in my room, I was letting them out. Um, keep in mind, I couldn't feel anything. I could just hear the noises, and I kept having to ask, is that me? And I had all five of them confirm that it indeed was me. And I think about that every night and it's been over two years so we'll not be doing that again mm. reason number two my daughter didn't sleep through the night until two months ago uh, she woke up six times a night on a good night um, i breastfed for two years um, she didn't sleep through until i i stopped it i stopped it cold turkey and now she sleeps through the night but guess who doesn't me i don't i no longer know how i don't sleep at all i run off of tears reason number three my daughter thinks she's in a constant filming of jackass uh, she is not afraid of shit. She um, had to get her lip glued right here because uh, her tooth went through it. Um, she had to get her glued shut at one years old, okay? She isn't afraid of shit, and she's clumsy. Dangerous combination. I cannot afford to worry about anyone else. Reason number four, uh, postpartum anxiety. Uh, it is crippling. I broke two pairs of prescription glasses because I would fall asleep in my glasses so I could watch my daughter sleep. Um, and then when I opened my eyes, I wanted to be able to see her immediately. Uh, so I didn't want to waste time by having to put on glasses to see her. I just wanted them already there. Um, I watched her sleep for the first six months of her life. Uh, I still kind of do it. Um, I am constantly worried about her well-being. I, I cannot, I cannot do that again. I, it, it's physically impossible. And last, this is the most important one that I think everybody will understand. Um, I don't fucking want one, okay? And you can't make me, Okay. Shop's closed. I'm done. Mm. I'm done. I don't see babies out in public and think, oh, I see babies out in public and think, oh, you know what I mean? I cringe. <laughs> it. And that's okay. Doesn't make me a bad mom. Doesn't make me any less of a mom. Um, I, kudos to you for having more. Uh, that's amazing. I think you're a superhero or you're a little bit crazy. Either one. Uh, it's just not for me. So, yeah. I'm a one and done mom. Of course people like to tell me that if I just had another kid, then my child would have somebody to play with. Mm. Hey, that's not a good reason to have another kid. I'm a one and done mom. Of course people like to tell me that if I just had another kid, my daughter wouldn't feel so lonely because she's lonely all the time. Hey, she's not lonely. She's either with me all the time or with her cousins or with all the friends that she's made. I'm a one and done mom. Of course people like to tell me and my husband how spoiled my daughter is going to be and how she will probably always feel spoiled. We actually don't have a lot of toys at our house and she's very, very happy with that and so am I. I'm a one and done mom. Of course people like to tell me that my daughter's going to be entitled when she's older. I'm teaching her how to be confident, not an asshole. 
I'm a one and done mom by choice, but not everybody is. So please be careful with how many times you're going to ask someone when they're going to have another baby or if they're going to have another baby because it's none of your business. Reasons I decided to only have one kid. I hate pregnancy and I hate childbirth. The postpartum depression, anxiety, and rage that I had, I never want to feel again. That was the most miserable time of my life. I don't want to sacrifice my sleep or my body again. It's a financially smarter decision in my eyes. I can spend more money on my son and not have to worry about another child. Parenting is a lot harder than I thought it would be, and I don't want to divide my time on another child. And I just don't want any more. I just don't have a desire to have any more kids at all. I'm perfectly happy with just mine. This trend going around where people talk about why they're one and done. Let me tell you why I'm one and done. I see this room, messiest room in my house. Gives me anxiety. I never knew real anxiety until I had a baby. Though pregnancy and delivery was really easy, Postpartum was not. It took me months before I could leave my house. My body bounced back. My body yet still doesn't feel like it used to. Let me show you the next mm. reason. She don't even want me to And it probably will never. I'm just saying. But we just got back from Puerto Rico last wait, night. Like, and let me tell you, it was the easiest thing ever. If I have another kid, we are not taking flights. Pay two seats, three seats. No. I feel like if I just have one kid, I'm able to give her the world. I'll be able to... Hey, hey, hey. Anyway, I feel like I'll be able to buy her her car at 16 and do all this other stuff. Yes, I can work harder when I have other kids, but like, can I really work that much harder? Call me Sabu, but I don't want to deal with the arguments. I had sisters growing up. I just... Leave me out of it. <laughs> Having just one, I feel like I'm going to be able to give her my undivided attention and she won't have to fight for it. Another reason, I'm tired. I was tired with the newborn stage. I'm tired with the toddler stage. I went in thinking that I have this village. There is no village. I feel like once you're a mom, that's it for the rest of your life. I mean, you're constantly always going to be worried. My mom still worries about me now. My grandma still worries about my mom. I can't have that stress level. We're done. <laughs> no mas. I watched one of my friend's toddlers because her normal child care fell I mean, how can I talk against that? Oh, even put that up for discussion. Like, I mean, they have better reasons for not wanting more than one kid. That's fine. I feel like if I should would have kids, I would probably have two as a minimum. And if I was like rich, rich, and I could like work part time, it's just at home. Maybe I would have three kids, but you know, let's just focus on getting to the financial state of where I want to be before I get even the first kid so I can't even really talk about that but I find it's very interesting to see like this one and done perspective of having just one kid and not more and that is valid reasons I get it that's not really anything to say like I feel like having one kid is much better than if you had four or five kids and you do not have the mentality of financial support of uh, not financial in a place where you can have that many kids or you have the time to be there for all those kids because having too many kids is much worse than just having one single kid that's going to grow up alone for sure that's definitely something that i think like having that many kids i'm just like how is one or two not going to be neglected like and then there's going to be like fights of having that parent's attention and the parents going to be tired and then like it's a whole different kind of thing but whereas one kid is just like you have the time to have that kid well i don't even really know what to say because it's just bad reasons like there's nothing to discuss against these um mom's opinions about just having one kid i get it for sure um what do you guys think about this what's your opinion uh me having one kid let me know down below like and subscribe if you like this video and maybe i will see my next video bye